Welcome back to Elden Ring. We just explored the Windmill Village. I want to explore more of the Altus Plateau here. I don't really want to go into new map fragments too much, but this fragment here is pretty close. And I think this road that goes here might be kind of important because it seems to kind of connect the Grand Lift of Dectus route with, I don't know, the being teleported to Volcano Manor route, I guess. I don't know. I want to get this map fragment, but I'm not going to go too far to the east, although it is just going to lead to the capital, it looks like, which of course we've completed 100%. But uh, yeah, let's follow the road and go get that map fragment. I think I better go take care of that before I try to attack anything. Holy lag. Hopefully those don't respawn. Giant arrows may be launched by a giant? Capital outskirts. Yeah, there's craters where every single one is, so they were definitely projectiles. Yeah, I think those are arrows. I see thee. What? Tarnish, flame of is that more Geet? You know... Uh, no, not that. Um... I still have to shackle. Does it still work? Yeah, it still works. Fuck off. Viridian Amber Medallion. I guess they were just pretending to be Margit? I don't know. The fact that the shackle worked suggests that was actually Margit, though. Surely it wouldn't work on someone who's not really them. Take a look at the charm. Viridian. Viridian Amber Medallion plus one. Greatly raises maximum stamina. Ooh. 
from 115 to 129. So 14 more stamina. Hmm. Stamina is really important. Allows me to cast more magic in a short amount of time. I don't know if I want to replace anything I have here, though. I think raising stamina recovery speed might be more important. I don't know. I'm going to stick with what I have for now. Fingers are actually silent. What now? Great axe. I'm sure that takes a lot of strength. 24. It's actually not too bad. Mended with corpse wax. Yep. Just like the others. Golden seed, and another golden seed. I definitely have enough to get another potion. I don't think I have a sacred tier, no. But I do have four golden seeds, definitely. <laughs> now it's gonna take five. Oh yeah, what's my mix right now? Seven, seven, five. Hmm. I think I should give myself another FP potion. 6-6. Six, six. I think this is going to reveal the capital. Yes, finally! Oh, look at that. On the, the tree, on the map. So pretty. So yeah, I kind of have the outskirts here. So I think it's time to move inwards, although I haven't explored this yet. I'm still not sure how to get there, actually. 
Like, it looks like you go through this valley, there's a cave there, and you get to this valley by... It's hard to tell, maybe there's spirit springs here. Maybe you can just walk down here, this looks softer than this. Not really sure. Um... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Abandoned coffin. That, like, alternate way that we got up to the Altus Plateau and then abandoned immediately. It looks like that is on a lower level. And maybe it would get me down there. Hmm. Let's go to the abandoned coffin. See where it leads. Ah, oh, that was the elevator that took me up here. Wrong button. Time for treasure chest. Do these all have treasure chests? And what are those? I've not fought those before. amount of health. Oh, right. I totally forgot Comet pierces. I hit the one behind them. Oh, hey, they have the growths on them. Like... Like the dung eater growths. Kind of looks like. Although they don't have them all over their body. Not yet. Have they been defiled? I'm just going to skip the wolves. I'm sure they'll leave me alone. Those release poison, but they're not enemies. Can't deal with them, then. I don't really need to use this thing to figure out where it is. It's right there. Perfumer's Ruins. We were a strong foe. Use stealth. Okay. Oh, the omen killer, I think. Oh. Damn. Good sense of hearing. Stealth was kind of pointless.
Ooh. Omen killer robe, gloves, and boots. Very cool looking. Definitely not me, though. Hmm. Too bulky looking. Boots don't look bad in the picture. Not really gonna be able to see them. Yeah, not really. Humor's Cookbook 1. Spark Aromatic and Uplifting Aromatic. Sounds like we can make buffs. Fumer's Talisman. Does that increase the strength or duration of them, maybe? Raises potency of perfume items. Depicting a set of perfume bottles. There are gardens known only to the perfumers. While they're hidden on the fringes of the highlands or obscured by shadows inside caves, the flowers blossom in secret, waiting to impart their scent. craft a perfume. I haven't looked at my crafting menu in forever. Frenzy Flame Stone. Use FP to continuously heal Chaos Followers. Still don't know what that means. What's a Chaos Follower? Oh yeah, now I can make the Acid Spray Mist because I have Altus Blooms. Uses FP to release Acid Mist from the mouth. Let's make... Oh, it takes four um, formic rocks. Just to make one? Damn. Let's make two to test it. Uplifting. Uh, uses FP to raise the attack power of the user and nearby allies, while also reducing the damage from one incoming attack by half. Hmm. This aromatic has an extremely potent morale-raising effect that makes those accustomed to it fearless in the face of death. It was this influence that made the perfumers exceptional commanders. The other one is Spark. 
Uses FP to broadly scatter sparks in a wide arc straight ahead. Oh, yeah, we've seen them using this on us. Trying to attack us with it. Though fire was prohibited to those who served the Erd Tree, this rule was forgotten as the war drew ever on. <laughs> so if you served the Erd Tree, fire was banned because fire burns trees. That makes sense. What does that take? Oh, that takes Miranda powder. Let's make a couple of those, and this takes... Oh, this takes a lot. Bloom, budding cave moss, silver tear husk, and arteria leaves. Oh, we can only make one, because you're limited to how many perfume bottles you have. Right, just like the pots. Nighttime while I was underground. Let's try out. Hmm. Spark aromatic. Like, are those really just gonna be one time use? I'm scared to use them. Like, they better be really good. Down there. Carry a manor. Unsightly catacombs. Oh, you! Let's try my sparks. Obviously a waste, but I just want to see what it does. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll save the other one for someone stronger. Yeah, let's try it on this. Oh, I think that actually has quite a wide range. Man, those attacks are slow. So it might be more of an area of effect thing. Um, let's... Can you just, like, stop for... Ah! For the acid spray mist. <laughs> oh, they just fell. But didn't die? 
guess it's not that far of a fall then. Try target lock. Thank you. Oh, you're a big one. Let's do acid mist. Did... Are they poisoned? Did that work? Like, I hear a noise. I heard a noise that sounded like it was it hurting them, but if it was, it wasn't hurting them very much. We can go down there because there's an item there. Hello. Oh, I want to try acid spray mist on you. Come down here. Okay, I definitely see the effect on them. Like the particle effect. It's definitely working on them. It must not do much damage. up though. Okay, I guess we have to fall down into that pit to unlock it. Winged misbegotten ashes. A spirit with the aspect of wings, which takes flight to loose arrows from its bow. The misbegotten are held to be a punishment for making contact with the crucible, and from birth they are treated as slaves or worse. Stealth required ahead.
Nah, there's nothing left alive up here anymore. Oh, Prattling Pate, apologies. You know, when I was doing summons for Rykard off-camera, there was one other player that got summoned called Elon Musk, and when they saw me, they used a prattling pate thing that said, You're beautiful. So Elon Musk called me beautiful in a summons in Elden Ring. Absolutely cursed. Oh shit, I didn't want to start the fight just yet, actually. <laughs> oh well. Trisha. Trisha was once known as a healer who dedicated her efforts to treating misbegotten, omen, and all those seen as impure. When her efforts failed, she was their companion as they died, watching over them to ensure that they could pass peacefully, free of pain. A tale akin to the origins of the deathbed companions. Back to the abandoned coffin? Hi. Ruler's mask and robe. Wish I can see if there's a chest here. No. Creepy. A mask in the image of a wizened sage. Customary dress among lords in a smaller nation. Increases faith. Oh. By one. Such a mask illustrates the qualities of an ideal lord, chiefly wise and possessing a certain defanged geniality. One in the center of society often finds these qualities most expedient. The other piece was the ruler's robes. Yeah, definitely not my thing. That's weird, why? 
Why is my walking speed so slow here? My sprint speed's normal, but... Did I... <laughs> did I break something? Huh? It's never happened before. Hmm? Ancient Dragon lands Sayax. Oh! You know, I should probably replace, uh, which one? Maybe spellcasting time with fire, uh, flame drake talisman plus two, more fire resistance. Let's also get rid of the spray mist and try taking the uplifting aromatic. Well, there's a separate bubble on torrent. They get their own bubble. Not big enough for them, though. Um. Alright, bye. There was another dragon that took off on me as well. Are dragons cowards in this universe? Am I gonna find them all in one place, just hanging out, and then I have to fight them all at the same time? Didn't expect fleeing. <laughs> yeah. I did it. I can go down here into the water. It's like a swamp. Yeah. Well, I can't go that way, so I'm dead. Let's go this way. Much better. I don't really have a reason to kill all these flowers, do I? There's gotta be something special down here. Oh yes, cave. Just wanna make sure that's the only thing down here. It's not. Okay, now is this the runes we've already been to? Yes. Sage's Cave. Undead ahead. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of this cave. Bye! Try shoving my dick in. Okay, sure.
two. Suspicious. And its curved sword. Eleven strength, thirteen dex. Curved sword with a light crescent shaped blade, used by the bandits who ran rampant in the wake of the shattering. Most of the blade is now darkened and covered in rust, but with enough dexterity, this weapon may still stand up to some use. This is a dead end. I'm not sure which way I want to go. No, that's not a dead end. Let's try the hidden pathway. Oh, wow. Tree wooden shield. Definitely a very bandity thing. Hood of lusterless black fabric that conceals its wearer's identity. In this world, there is very little that must be necessarily be that must necessarily be known. And, oh yeah, I can take off this talisman. In the shield. Does not do 100% physical. Um, yeah, it's kind of worse at everything, actually. It's quite bad, actually. <laughs> Where's guard boost? Like, better lightning and fire. But that's just because the Carrion Knight Shield is like geared more towards protecting against magic and sacrifices fire, lightning, and holy for that. Yeah, no thank you. Tall, medium-sized wooden shield, light for its size and easy to handle. Thought to represent a surreptitious prophecy of cardinal sin, the lit candle tree design was forbidden. Oh, prophecy of cardinal sin. Lit candle tree, like a tree on fire. Huh. How light is it? 3.5 compared to 4.5? Yeah, it is quite light. I think that's the only thing it has going for it, honestly.
place is just full of treasure chests. Whoops. Raptor talons. Yeah, how does that compare to the bloodhound ones? Hmm. Better scaling and dex. Causes the same blood loss buildup. Claw comprised of two sharp, thin blades wielded by the assassins of Ravenmount. This weapon allows them to imitate the attacks of deathbirds. Oh my god. Besides excelling at air. Uh, at airborne attacks, its charge attack mimics the vicious swoop of a bird of prey. Oh, I want to see that. I probably should have the other one equipped. I don't know, let's see. Ooh! Wait, so is that if I charge it up? Wait, how did I do that? Oh, interesting. Um, I think the only way to activate that is by doing the strong attack charged twice. Meaning if I just tap charge, uh, tap the charge attack, it just does this. If I hold the charge attack down once, it does this. If I hold the charge attack down once and then just tap charge attack, it just does that. But if I hold down charge and then press it again and hold it down again, then it does that. Whoa, that's really hard to find. <laughs> Be very easy to miss that attack. Neat. Do the other claws do that as well? Is that like a standard claw thing? No. That's specific to that particular weapon. It's amazing the variety you can find in the attacks just by holding down certain things. It's not always obvious. Shit, I think there's a boss in there. Skeletal mask. Raptor's black feathers. Oh, that's so weird and cool. Read the description for that. Skeletal mask that tightly grips the face, worn by the assassins of Ravenmount. This ritual implement relentlessly digs into the wearer's face, preserving one's human instincts while dressed in imitation of the deathbirds. So yeah, looking and acting like a deathbird was their whole thing. In their weapons, in their armor. Totally blanked on what the other thing was. Oh, it's a chess piece. Raptor's black feathers. Strengthens jump attacks. Oh! We are birds of prey, bringers of death. That's really cool. Oh, it'd be so cool to use an assassin weapon. Probably those um, talons that we got. And then like a full suit of the raptor armor. So I can go deeper that way. Wait, do these both lead to the same boss? I suspect they do. Uh, 
futility. Necromancer Garrus. Oh my god, look at that snail! Oh! I'm not gonna kill them. I gotta look at that snail first. Oh, look at it! Skeleton snail! With a giant skull for a shell! Oh, that is so cool! Oh, that is the coolest thing! Okay, let's try not to die. Killed the snail. Family heads. It's a weapon. Oh, it's a dex and int weapon. It's a flail. <laughs> That's a flail. And it has a special that it seems quite special. Can't be changed. Familial Rancor. Three bludgeoning copper heads attached to a handle by chain. Signature weapon of Necromancer Garrus, the heretical sage. The heads were made to resemble those of his wife and two children. Aw, that's... cute. Familial Rancor. Gently rattle the copper heads to summon vengeful spirits that chase down foes. The anguish of a spouse and children invites a cursed wrath. Oh, that's cool. Some of the vengeful spirits of their wife and kids. Fucked up and cool. Love it. I actually have to try really using this thing, because that's kind of made for me. It's a flail, dex and int. It's perfect. It does magic damage. Yeah, what does that look like? Copper skulls. Ugh, weird. Especially knowing what they are. Like what they're made to represent. Powered up attack. Yeah, just the standard moveset. Wait, what the hell? I'm sorry, am I bonking myself on the head? Why am I bonking myself on the head? It only happens if I charge up the attacks. What is that? Like, I can feel it in my controller. There's even a little, like, vibration when that happens. Right there. Makes a sound, too. And it sort of looks like I'm... No! <laughs> it's like I'm smacking my head. The fuck is that? None of my others do that, right? No way, that does too. Holy shit. Is that just what happens when you do a fully charged attack of a flail and I never noticed? Yep, that one too. What? It's not actually hurting me, right? No. Okay, that's weird. I'm not overloaded. I have all the skills to wield the weapon. Yeah. What if I two-hand it? Eh, it still does it. 
Okay, what about... Oh, is this a secret pathway? No. Yeah, there was another fog wall, and it doesn't seem to lead here, so where does it lead? Another boss? I don't have any healing left. Black Knife Assassin. Oh. For you, I'm probably going to want... Ambush Shard? I saw you coming. Oh, this is interesting. I can't select you. This is a very different fight fight from what you normally get. This is really cool. Since I don't think I'm going to be using magic at all, or at least not spells. I, I will use Nebula probably on my weapon. Um, but I got rid of the decreased spellcasting time thing, and let's put Crucible Scale Talisman in instead. Reduces damage taken from critical hits. Hello? Okay, this should not do as much damage. Yeah, I don't think that was as bad. <laughs> I got one hit on them. probably stay in the middle of the water. Or maybe the side of the water is fine, too. Yes. K 
Concealing Veil. Hmm. Yeah, that was a really cool fight. Let's change this back before I forget. Conceals wear while crouching away from foes. Talisman put together from dark cloth with a lustrous sheen. Completely conceals the wearer's presence while crouching at a distance from foes. Part of one of the concealing veils used by the assassins on the Night of Black Knives. Is it working? <laughs> Conceals wear while crouching away from foes. Do you just have to hope that it's working? Do you actually have to be near enemies, kind of? I mean, I suppose if you became literally invisible and you couldn't see yourself, that'd be a little weird and hard to work with. But I thought there'd be some sort of effect. Like, it, is it working? I know it says only when you're away from enemies, so if I get too close, I'm sure it'll stop working. But I don't know what too close is. I guess that's too close. Let's level up our endurance. I want more stamina. Let's explore around where we fought that dragon. Off to the side of it, actually. Woo! Oh my god. Go up and past where we fought the dragon now. Puppies. Ah, what a view. Oh, there's someone to talk with over there. Some ruins. Is that... Oh, uh... What was her name? What was her name? Millicent? Ah. We meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The Scarlet Rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Hmm. Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. So up here. She's passed into the land. They're so cool. Hope we don't end up having to fight them or something. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and their name is Millicent. And this is the valley that looks like it should lead to this large castle. And that looks like the front entrance to the capital.
Yeah, that's this. Well, I guess it's... Hmm. The way this setup is interesting. There's multiple levels of walls, actually. There's this kind of, like, outer wall. And then there's this inner wall. So we haven't actually explored, like, this place between the inner and outer wall all that much, other than just running through it to get the map fragment. But there's a bunch of other stuff here. At least a cave. Some ruins. Minor Erd tree. Praise the octopus? Death required ahead? What? Praise the octopus. Huh? Is there something I'm missing here? Earth tree gazing hill. Maybe... Maybe at nighttime? There's something here? No. Okay. Maybe it'll make sense later. Tree ahead, drive fire. I'm trying. Lovable sort? Offer whole. Uh, okay. So I gather at some point there will be someone here that people want to fuck. That's what I got from that. And there's supposed to be someone here as well? What happens here later on? Lots of people. An octopus? Someone people want to fuck? Unfathomable sort here? And how do we get further up? Oh, I think probably from this side. Let's see if we can head around. And I also want to see what's here in the south end of this little valley. This part. Be wary of Sniper. Hmm, maybe them up on the rock. Oh, that's what they mean. There we go. Great shield talisman. Boosts guarding ability. Yeah, guard ability means that you take less... It uses less stamina to block a given attack. The Knights of Lindell once modeled themselves after the Tree Sentinels. Their purpose is to protect that which deserves protection, and thus the shield always comes before the sword. 
Okay, I looked it up on the uh, wiki and it looks like it boosts your guard boost or multiplies your guard boost by 1.1. So 10% increase to your guard boost. Now what that actually translates into as far as how much better, like how much less stamina does it take to guard? I'm not actually sure what that really means. Like would that be noticeable? I don't know. But I don't guard that much, so meh. Oh, hey, this is another one. Troll's Golden Sword. 29 Strength, Colossal Sword, Troll's Roar. Given to the lesser giants who fought for the Earth Tree during the war against the giants long ago. Though they've lost their minds, they stay inseparable from their swords that are in sad shape such that the gold plating had flaked away. Oh yeah, this is the weapon you see the trolls take out when you attack them. How did you get up there, little ball of plant matter? <laughs> I forgot the name of what the- what are those called? Uh, tumbleweeds. Ball of plant matter, aka. I'm hearing an odd noise in the distance. This way. Oh, I think it's one of those trolls with the things on their head. using Comet? Like, I'm replenished back up to 6? Six. 6 FP potions, so I'm not even running out of FP at all. I keep trying to be conservative and use Great Glenstone Shard, but I really don't have to be. Oh, the horse is trying to show me where the loot was. Message! I wish I could feed the end, quote unquote enemy horse some raisins. Oh, it's scared of me. I did almost kill it accidentally. Sorry. What's your problem?
wanted to check the end of this valley. See if there's a cave or something here. but it leads through to the other side. have a jail? Gowl? Haven't seen one of these in a while, actually. Ever jail? Ever jail? I guess it's ever jail. Code Froy the Grafted. What the fuck? Is this some off-brand Godfrey? <laughs> Godfroy, Godric. That is like a it's like a dollar store dollar store Godric. Enhances charged spells and skills. Hmm. Oh interesting. Wait, charged skill. Oh my god, does that mean Well I don't think Nebula can be charged. So I suppose I wouldn't increase the damage of it. Can it be charged? Have I ever tried to charge it? Just tap charge or tap use. Hold it down. It seems the same. But Comet can be charged up. Legendary talisman depicting the Elden Lord Godfrey. Raises charge attack power of sorceries, incantations, and skills. They were a ferocious warrior. When he vowed to become a lord, he took the beast regent Sarosh upon his back to suppress the ceaseless lust for battle that raged within. Looked it up in the wiki, it increases their damage by 15%, which is pretty big. But yeah, the only spell I regularly use that gets charged 
is Comet, and I don't usually charge it. So, hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. If I get more charge spells, definitely, but yeah. Right now, I don't feel like it's worth it. Oh, I think this is just leading up to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Which I never actually explored at all. Like, yeah, I didn't fight anything because Lady Tanith, I think was their name, was right there and just, I took their hand and they teleported me to the manor. Like, I assume there's probably a side of grace here that's not at the bottom. I don't know, let's take these things on. Nah, I'm going melee. Oh no, I'm dry. Praise the friend! Wait! No, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me they don't actually attack you. No, they do attack you. They're not friends. I see a side of grace. Seek Mountain. I wonder if they're talking about the... I know we have to go to a really high mountain for the frost giants or something. Um, to be able to burn the Erd tree. It's like our main quest. I wonder if that's what they're referring to. All this plateau. Oh yeah, now I should be able to get to the Lux Ruins. That's not how they normally behave. Ooh, I gotta come back for that one. Hey! You little shit! I 
suppose this charged attack might get my benefit from the 15% more damage. Weak foe. Try close quarters. Whoa, meant to read that message. Not do this. All right. Oh, wow. Ritual Sword Talisman. Raises attack power when HP is at maximum. Hmm. Patterned after swords used in ritual combat held to honor the Erd Tree. The practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radigan, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place can still be found in every land. Looked it up on the wiki, it increases your damage by 10%. And I also looked up the Ritual Shield Talisman, and that reduces your damage when your HP is at maximum by 30%, which is pretty huge. Yeah, the wiki did mention that if you combine these two, it can be quite powerful, especially when combined with something that heals you over time, like the Blessed Dew Talisman, this one. So heal over time to kind of top you up, take 30% less damage, makes it easier to stay topped up, and then this, which increases your damage by 10%. That's three talisman slots all pretty much in the service of making, like, pretty much mostly in the service of having you do 10% more damage. I don't know if that's worth it. Doesn't feel worth it to me. Let's try to get that beetle. Yes! Ash of War Shield Crash. I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore more of the Altus Plateau.